so yeah, so a UCC filing is important to know and understand. What it is, it's the Universal Commercial Code. So whenever you apply for a loan, if you've gotten, a, if you ever got an EIDL loan from the SBA uh, during the pandemic or a PPP loan, um, if you get a cash, if, and 99% of the loans that you might get approved for, they're going to put a UCC filing, okay? And usually it's in fine print, and they're not going to tell you. So what that means is they file the loan with the Secretary of State. Um, and so now it's easy for them to put it on the Secretary of State, but 99% of these lenders do not care about removing it from the Secretary of State. So I'll give you an example, a story. I had a client last year. Um, she, uh, she was trying to get approved for an SBA 7A loan to expand her home health care company. She's in New York. And um, she had about four f uh, cash advances, right? She was, it was killing her. So part of what we did is we did a debt restructure on the SBA loan, took those cash advances, put it into a 10 year learn, uh, term at prime plus 2.75. But her loan was delayed for almost three months because of those UCC filings. And she had two UCC filings from years prior that she didn't even know were on her credit report. The lenders were no longer even open. So she had to hire an attorney who had to go down to the Secretary of State and prove to the Secretary of State that those UCC filings were satisfied and you know to get them off the credit report. Okay, so a UCC filing, there's, there's a blanket UCC filing, which means they put a, it's like a tax lien against all of your business assets. Okay, so you, when you're applying for a loan, you wanna ask, are you gonna be putting a UCC filing on, my, on, my, uh, on the Secretary of State against my business? And you can ask, that instead of putting a blanket UCC filing, that they put maybe a, a partial UCC filing, maybe on certain assets like your equipment or furniture and fixtures, so you can limit your exposure. Why? Not only is it a pain in the butt to get it off the, of the Secretary of State, but later, when you go to apply for a better loan, you wanna get more money, if that UCC filing there is there, it could cause you to get declined or delay the process dramatically. So you want to make sure you talk about that, ask about that. And if it, there is going to be UCC filing, when you pay that loan off, you want to demand a letter from the bank, from the lender to remove that UCC filing. Very important so that you don't have, you're not delayed later on. Okay. All right. Who here knows what uh, compound interest is? Compounding interest. That's right. So it could, that could be your best friend or your worst enemy, right? So if you have debt and it's compounding interest against you, it's just gonna kill you. Unfortunately, that's what happens with credit cards, which is why you don't wanna carry high credit card balances and just pay that minimum payment because you're never gonna pay it off because it's compounding interest. You end up paying a lot more for that debt, right? However, if you can flip the script and you can receive compound interest coming back to you, right? then that's a win. And that's what we want to be able to do, right? Um, I have created a term, I haven't seen anyone's use it, called compound credit. And let me break that down. Now, compound credit is what happens when you use credit wisely, meaning you leverage credit, right? Because if you don't use credit wisely, it becomes your worst enemy, compound interest against you. But if you use credit properly, credit cards, in particular, you will, you'll start to experience what's called the compound credit effect, right? What's gonna happen is you're gonna get, start getting limit increases. You're gonna start getting offers for 0% interest promotion credit cards. That's gonna be both on the personal and on the business. You can leverage that credit, and the key is not to let the debt sit with payments. You wanna only use the credit as a way to pay what you could afford to pay and immediately pay it right back. Does that make sense, right? There's another component of these credit cards, which are rewards points, cash back, travel points. So if you leverage the credit properly, I'm kind of getting my head of myself. I'm starting to get into velocity banking, okay? But it applies here as what we're talking about in terms of business credit and credit, because if you understand credit and how it works, you can start 
leveraging the credit, gaining the cash back, gaining the rewards, and you start getting bigger and bigger approvals and bigger and bigger limits. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of us are afraid of credit cards, are afraid of debt. If you use debt properly, it can be your best friend. It can be a, 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 a form of currency that you that that will allow you to leverage, to grow, to 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 uh, to do things you couldn't do otherwise. Okay, and I'll give you some examples as we continue. Okay. Um, Finally, return on investment, ROI. I just want to say that you need to know what your ROI is, all right? And more importantly, you need to know when are you anticipating and expecting that ROI, which means that you need to have a business plan. I talk to so many business owners that don't have a business plan, okay? Um, on my channel, you'll see it if you, when you go there, there's a product, it's called Live Plan. It's $15 a month. This is the, the simplest, solution that I have found to build a business plan. It literally leads you step by step just through a Q&A and it builds a professional business plan for you. I've had clients get approved for SBA loans using LifePlan. Now I also have a resource that I can refer you to. Um, her name is Ashley Cheeks and she is on the Forbes Business Council and she charges $8,000 for a business plan, right? So when you're ready to level up and you want to you know, take it to the next level. If you're looking for equity investors or angel investors, then you need to talk to Ashley. But if you're getting started and you're on a budget, check out LifePlan.